Ever since the rise of ISIS and its long list of terror attacks around the world, many countries have seen clashes between their Muslim and non-Muslim communities. My team has been wondering, how is the situation in Singapore? Are Singaporeans able to talk openly and kindly with each other on these hot button issues? Together with the Thought Collective and the Harmony Centre, we invited strangers to help each other out by talking about this. In this video, they explore the question. When I was growing up, I, I went to Aljunet Primary School. Mm -hmm. primary school, you, you would think that there would be a lot of Malay, but in, at my level, I was the only Malay class. I was the only guy who's like a tuition, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I've come to grow up in a place where my friends were mo are mostly Indians. Uh, my be best friends are mis mostly Indians. Should I now, if I don't have enough Chinese friends, look for a Chinese friend? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's weird, like, how do you even like, broach that? So. Yeah. It's like, before you can be my friend, you need to fill up a quota. Yeah. <laughs> Do you fall into the sea and yeah. oh, no, 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 no. Haven't got yeah. enough O, so mm, I, yeah. yeah, it can't work. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I think um, it was really in university where I really got to know a lot more mm. Malay Muslim friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in which uh, also because of um, say my my role in uh, interfaith events, mm. in which there would be more Malay Muslims who would be participating. Mm. Yeah, and actually, uh, unless you. I would say go out of your way to try to leave a, the comfort zone of mm. your own particular community. It's, mm. It can sometimes be difficult, right, mm. to, 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 to get to know people of, different, mm. uh, of a different background, right, yeah, in the sense of it. Even though I was from a madrasa, mm. but mm. they do send us to like workshops or camps mm. or other seminars um, in other JCs and, mm. and, and stuff like that. So we do look forward to go to mm. such events. So we, we get to meet other people, mm. so I guess in a sense it balances out. Actually, um, I do have very close um, Muslim friends, mm. but growing up, I think religion didn't feature very much in our lives when we were younger. Actually, I think I can very much relate to um, mm. the, the questions um, that you've been pondering, especially for Deepa. But unlike the probably a, a, a general assumption or expectation that people would think that you wouldn't mix around with other people because you're, you're from the private Islamic school and it, it's the minority. My Muslim parents, their best friends are people from other races. Mm. So I grew up like being with the neighbours, uh, like Chinese neighbours, Indian neighbours. We even fight because of our God actually, mm. me and some of our, our neighbours when we were young. Mm. But we don't see that as a sensitivity. Mm. Our parents allow us to do that. I mean, those are before the internet time of mm. course so you, you don't really mm -hmm. suddenly put everything in binary but now it, it's a bit of a struggle to see how mm. you can apply the same thing maybe in a different way I'm not so mm. sure mm. Yeah. that's very interesting because uh, you mentioned about fighting about the same God mm. yeah. even yeah. the people with, without a God that we still fight <laughs> 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 it's a very human yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. it's a very human thing for me I think the, the biggest part in the past again of uh, meeting uh, people, uh, Malays, uh, Muslims, mm. will be in the army, and I think that's mm. a yeah. yeah, that's a very big big part of uh, a coming of age of a, a Singaporean male mm. fighting for the country, the existence yes. of the, the country. There there is a sense of crisis uh, yes. that's always at the back of our heads. In fact, in, in the army, I gained more Malay friends than I did before because you know <laughs> I came from a <laughs> primary school which has no Malays. Mm. Right? Actually, like when you talk about schools, institutions mm -hmm. as well, in the army, these are institutions that categorize people certain ways, you know. You have people who are already who's already made it to university yeah. and what about people who hasn't made it to the yeah. university, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. They allow us to, to gain a consciousness of uh, okay, what it means to bridge differences. Mm -hmm. But also they foster a consciousness of difference in itself. Like I mean people naturally are going to um, mm -hmm. organize themselves in, uh, according mm -hmm. to certain well partisan lines mm. in a way. So mm. I run a okay. learning center mm. and mm -hmm. there was one year a girl from a madrasa came and she she said she was looking for tuition and she said could my whole class come <laughs> for, for tuition and you set aside one class just for us because we have more than enough and this is general paper where you got to talk about oh, issues right, right? And, and you have to bring in religious points of view right. and all that and, and I'm a Christian okay. and in my regular like mixed classes I'm mm. I will openly talk about so what is my stand on it and where that comes from. And then I started to feel like a bit of anxiety about 
am I going to offend these kids? Like, well, should, should I couch the things that I say? And that was actually the conversation we had on the very first day. Right? Oh, I just wow. told them up front, like, okay, I'm a bit scared of what, <laughs> what I can or cannot say. Right? So you have to tell me if you feel insulted at any point. Mm. Right? Uh, otherwise, like, I, I, I'm not sure how to go on. And the kids were just very, like, just just say whatever you want. Lah. <laughs> you know, you know? You know, like, so the, the kids gave me the permission to just go ahead, you know. And that helped me actually see that a lot, that they were just kids. Kids. Yes. <laughs> they were as, we they were as we cute as too. like any of my other kids. Right? Exactly. And sometimes it would like surprise me like, you like that song? Are you sure you're supposed to <laughs> like that song? <laughs> my colleague uh, hmm. was supposed to initiate at a madrasa. Hmm. Uh, she's she's Malay Muslim okay. herself, she, but she doesn't wear a tudung and she was asking me, oh, should I wear a tudung? Because I'm not the only one there. No. And I'm like, you're asking me? <laughs> How would I know? I found that really funny. And you, you can know, say like you're the foremost authority on tudung. <laughs> I don't wear them. So I can tell you about them. Yeah. Perhaps um, perhaps we're feeling a little a little oversensitive and mm. be becoming a little more self censored in mm. a certain way while approaching the, mm. the other races, even that mm. those are earlier days. I'm I'm really curious, like what, what is the one thing you wish non Muslims would stop assuming about Muslims? Mm. Like like you're you're like so fed up with it. <laughs> Maybe the question would be what do you think also for me, right? What do you think uh, Muslims feel about other Muslims sometimes as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which is a, a very interesting question because mm. uh, then, uh, or what do Buddhists think about other Buddhists maybe? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And in Singapore, we shape community always according to either race, religion, mm. and so related. And I, but I do think that in one, under one community that we have categorized as one, mm. sometimes there are a lot of uh, multiplicity. Do you ever mm. feel mm. that sometimes the Harshest critics can come from your own community. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Right. Yes. Yeah. right, of your own personal cultural practices mm. or religious practices. Like, mm. oh, I'm not being pious enough, apparently. Or I'm not being this yeah. or that. Most of the time, that's always the case. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 And mm. I think this is what ISIS preys on, basically, these polemics. Mm. That, mm. Uh, that you're either this or you're that. I mean, mm. sometimes I just want to just, oh, he's like that because, or she's like that because of a certain way. I think it's human only to feel like that. Uh, this polemic is not healthy. I think that, that open, uh, you know, kind of discussion that you talk about, I think it's important, but it has to be done with a certain level of respect for the other. Mm -hmm. But to then cap ourselves is the, the superhuman thing to do, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're curious to meet up with other Muslims and non-Muslims to find out about their perspectives on these issues over dinner, please click the link below and sign up for one of our public dinners.